Hello everybody! So today I'm doing my vlog from my office, uh, so you get a little sneak peek of the office area. Not a very appealing look, I'm afraid. The curtains behind me, awful ugly. And I'm not going to show you anything else because it's a mess in here right now. Just finished a wedding, still have to sort of reorganize things. Planning a wedding is a lot of work. and. I find the best way to tackle this really big project is to break it down into smaller phases. So what I've done is I've broken the whole process down into 10 steps and over the next couple of weeks I'm going to walk you through each of those steps one at a time and today I want to focus on step one which I call the talk. So this is one that people often skip over or else they miss a lot of important details. So here are some key things that you should be thinking about during the talk. Now the talk, of course, is going to happen between the couple um, and perhaps anybody else who might be contributing to the wedding. So there are a few key things that need to be addressed during this talk. The number one thing that you have to discuss is what and what do you have to work with in terms of budget? Are you working with no money whatsoever and relying completely on donations and the help of friends and family to help pull this off? Or are you working with $50,000, $100,000, $10,000? So what do you have to work with? Get yourself a number. Figure out what you have saved, what do you have put away? What can you afford to invest in the wedding over the next few months while you continue to plan? What are you what are you expecting from other contributors? So are your parents contributing to the wedding? Put all these numbers together and decide roughly how much you have to work with. Number two is where. Start talking about location. You don't have to finalize anything in terms of venues, but I mean where generally. So do you want to get married in the city where you live? Do you want to get married in Jamaica or perhaps in a... Uh, country that is important to one of you or both of you in some way. So if one of you was originally born in Italy, for example, do you want to get married over in Italy? And obviously the where is going to have an impact on your guest list, on your budget, all kinds of things. So having a general idea of where you guys want to get married is really going to help you out in moving forward. The next question you need to ask is who? Who do you want at your wedding? Are you planning a really small intimate gathering for just really close friends and family? Or are you planning a large event, a huge affair for 600 people or more? If your parents are contributing, you may want to consult with them to see if they have anybody they would like to invite. Train! So get a rough number in your head. Are you working with a small group, a really large group, a medium-sized group? Get Get some rough figures down. The next thing you want to discuss is when. Now you don't have to exactly set a date right away, but start talking about the season, the time of year, maybe a particular month. Is there a date that has a particular importance to you? Do you want to get married in a garden, uh, in a climate where gardens are really only full uh, during the months of June, July, and August, then you're kind of limited. When you think about your wedding, do you picture yourself uh, riding a sleigh in the snow? So what kind of images come up when you're thinking about the when? When also means how long is your engagement going to be? So you just got engaged. Do you plan on getting married in six months, in a year, in three years? So discuss those things as well. Now keep in mind that for most places, the summer months and now early fall is still the most popular time to get married. So if you decide that you absolutely want a summer or fall wedding, you're going to have to book your venue and some of your vendors earlier than someone who may be booking a wedding for the winter. So a lot of things to think about when you start thinking about when you might be having your wedding. Now the last thing you guys have to start discussing is the how. So start assigning some responsibilities. Now the best way to do this is to get a wedding planning checklist together and start going through some of the tasks involved and start assigning them out to one another. Now keep in mind that you may not actually agree on everything during this talk. 
It's really just to get the conversation going, start getting some ideas out there so that you can each have a sense of what the other person is thinking or what they're envisioning for the day. So tomorrow what I want to talk about is your budget. Now this is a really controversial topic, especially nowadays, we're still in a recession. So I want to talk a little bit about how to set your budget, how to prioritize, how you can have a wedding with next to no budget, and why some weddings can cost so much money. So I hope you'll join me tomorrow for that. Because I didn't tell any jokes today, la la la, very dry. I'm leaving you with a little uh, comedy segment that was sent to me by my friend Al. Thank you Al for sending this along. Really funny. If you want to watch the entire clip, the link is below. And if you want to subscribe to my friend Al's channel, his link is also below in the info section. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bad things to say at a wedding. I do. <laughs> I would like to apologise for the state of my clothes and the smell of sick only I spent last night in a skip. <laughs> anyway, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. People have said to me, why have you stopped being a bachelor after so long? And I say, well, look at her. She's wealthy and she's dying. <laughs> It wouldn't be a traditional Norfolk wedding without a speech from the father of the bride and groom. <laughs>